Chapter 9 And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to prove Solomon with hard questions at Jerusalem, with a very great company, and camels that bear spices and gold in abundance, and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions, and there was nothing hid from Solomon which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen the wisdom of Solomon, and the house that he had built, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his servants, and the attendance of his ministers, and their apparel, his cup-bearers also, and their apparel, and his ascent by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report which I heard in mine own land of thine acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not their words until I came, and mine eyes had seen it, and behold the one half of the greatness of thy wisdom was not told me, for thou exceedest the fame that I heard. Happy are thy men, and happy are these thy servants which stand continually before thee, and hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighteth in thee to set thee on his throne, to be king for the Lord thy God, because thy God loved Israel to establish them for ever, therefore made he thee king over them, to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold, and of spices great abundance, and precious stones, neither was there any such spice as the queen of Sheba gave King Solomon. And the servants also of Huram, and the servants of Solomon which brought gold from Ophir, brought algum trees and precious stones. And the king made of the algum trees terraces to the house of the Lord, and to the king's palace, and harps and psalteries for singers, and there was none such seen before in the land of Judah. And King Solomon gave to the queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked beside that which she had brought unto the king. So she turned and went away to her own land, she and her servants.